So ever since the now infamous Andrew Schultz and Nog Boys podcast episode was released last month, it became very clear that Steiny was not the most liked out of the whole group, and if anything, he was also super sensitive and emotional, which caused a lot of unprofessional moments on the show. But also because of that, because of his personality and the way he is, it actually has led to some very entertaining content. I don't even know what, what's going on right now. To be honest. Like I was <laughs> me off. That's what's going on right now. Well, you had to bring up the Steve. Bro. I, I think that was my. He brought the f watch, dude. What the f are you talking okay, about? Yo, we gotta, we, gotta, we gotta literally cut that entire section. I'm serious. I didn't bring up nothing about Why? Steve. I didn't bring up Wait, watches. Kyle, I'm that was him. All right, well, we'll see. Let's keep going. No, I'm serious, bro. But I think you need to find yourself a little, man. I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out where, where this took this turn. We're still talking about you. Where did this take this turn? We don't even have to have the mics on, bro. Well, how about this? I mean, everyone's. Screaming, we gotta go. I think here, we gotta guys. wrap right, up. Guys. I think we gotta wrap up. And it's almost been a whole year since he was brutally destroyed by Andrew Schultz in front of his entire fan base. And it seems like he actually has changed and matured a little bit because recently the now UFC middleweight champion of the world was on the Full Send podcast and was completely destroying Steiny, throwing bombs straight to his face, just roasting him, saying the wildest stuff. And Steiny was there the whole time, just taking it, smiling, uh, laughing, basically taking it like a champ. He definitely has a way stronger chin than uh, Israel Adesanya. Obviously, I think we can all agree that Sean's persona is to say the wildest things and get people riled up. But this was similar to the Schultz episode because his assessment of Steiny was spot on and Steiny's reaction was very very interesting so let's get started i'm sure at one point he's going to be joining your party what the f oh my not. god oh, what the f how do you get that vibe so let me tell you something about this guys i don't i don't really watch like pop culture yeah, like, yeah i just i stay away from it dude because it's like cancer on the mind but i did watch an interview with you and dylan dylan's name i can't stand that guy <laughs> Dylan Dennis. yeah and i realized bro you're like how old are you 29 you're like the how old are you same age you're like the mature reasonable guy that a little bit too tan, but you're, you're the mature, reasonable guy, <laughs> and you're more like the Weasley beta male in the group. But I think it's a good dichotomy. It's a good. It's going a through good. a rebrand, rebrand right now. So I'm just letting you know. What's your rebrand? Like more gym focus, more protecting, like values type shit. Yeah, you seem a little bit like morally shady. Like I don't think I'd want like. <laughs> well, let me tell you, if I went away on vacation, I know you're, you're full of. If like, I went on a, if I went on vacation, bro, and I came home and you were like having lunch at my, well, I mean my chicken, but if you were having lunch at my house, I would be like, oh, this guy's trying to. My chick, you, bro, I think you're a little bit more trustworthy. Thank uh, you. You just have that. This guy, though. What is there anything specific that gives you that kind of You know, just here, I'll tell you why. Now, keep in mind that this was recorded before the Israel Adesanya fight, and it most likely got arranged through the Nog Boys connections with the UFC, which they're plugged up with Dana White. And I say that because they were actually prepared to interview Sean Strickland and definitely knew a lot of stuff about him. And here's the funny thing. Back when this happened with Andrew Schultz, when they had the whole argument on the podcast, Schultz did have a pretty good excuse or a good reason to why he was being mean to Steiny and going after him. And even if he didn't have an excuse, Andrew Schultz is still a comic and he has a podcast called Flagrant, so that literally means to be offensive. But the point is that with Andrew Schultz, a comic, Steiny was ready to take it outside, but with Sean Strickland, who is a fighter, Steiny was totally cool with it and being a good sport and just even asking how he how he could change being himself. I mean, it's funny, but it's not that bad. Again, at least it shows that he has grown and can actually take it without losing his mind. Because if Sean had said those things last year, maybe it would have gone a lot different. Because I don't watch or any way I could fix that. Maybe I don't watch podcasts. I don't watch podcasts. I don't. I'm just not really into it. You know, especially like the pop culture, shit, bro. It's cancer for the brain. It's like yeah, I think you guys have made a lot of money off this. So I respect you man you guys are crushing i feel you though social media is it's definitely toxic but yeah. like i was watching so i was like you know i'm gonna get to know these guys a little bit and get to know these guys so i watch you and the dylan danis and you were more like the reasonable one like you were being a little beta you wanted to like you wanted to tell him what's up you wanted to say hey dude talking about that guy wife you're a piece of shit you shouldn't do it and you're a scumbag but you you were a little bit more <laughs> like folded yeah you a little bit more you folded a little bit more yeah like, you were a little bit more like i'm not i'm gonna up and be part of the club yeah. yeah but that's not part of the club because most people feel how you do about him and them. no but i'm saying but what i'm telling you though it's like it's harder to be this guy to say hey Shit. like it's harder to be this guy to say hey what you're doing is not right you know there was a point in our country where if you implied a man's wife was a it'd fuck kill you and i still and that's a harder that's a harder position to take than to kind of be a little bit more weasley yeah. what's your name again but you need a balance of it steiny Oh, it's kind of Weasley Steinley, you know, that's, that kind of goes a little <laughs> bit, bro. It's happened every time. Bro. We're going to rebrand you. <laughs> it's just research. I don't know. <laughs> and even though Sean did have some negative comments about the Full Sam podcast after he did it, I think he was mostly trolling because for the most part, he was 
nice to both of them, to both uh, Kyle and Steiny. Obviously, he was going in super hard on Steiny, saying some pretty rough stuff. But again, Steiny took it like a champ, except for when he implied that Sean Strickland was doing research on Steiny, and that's why he was bashing him, because there's no way that Sean was watching videos about how hated Steiny was before going onto the podcast. He clearly explained that um, he made up his mind after watching him and uh, Kyle interview Dylan Dennis, which I kind of have to agree with to an extent, because I've mentioned this before, and there's really not much you can do when you invite a guest on your podcast. You either want to platform somebody or you don't. But it's really unproductive to have somebody on and try to fight with them because in, if that's the case, might as well just set up a debate and then actually go at each other knowing that that's the goal. Because you could also say the same thing about Sean. The way that he's promoting the fight with Israel Adesanya is that he's saying some crazy stuff to him. But he draws the line when somebody talks about somebody's wife which I guess, fair enough. By the way, if you could do me a huge favor and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel, we're close to getting 100,000 subs and I really, really appreciate that. Thank you. So he's like a blue collar guy. Yeah, yeah. Mom? I was just like, my mom did like customer service for like a company. No, so he's, he's more blue collar than this stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't rich or poor, just like my area is like 25 minutes outside Toronto, just like Why is that, so why is fucking... it such a bad thing though if we come from different backgrounds like that? You know, it become because you are the modern day male, sir. I look at you. But why should I? Why should like me or him be punished for something? Like no, I don't punish you. I, th I think he's more morally in line with me than you're morally. Sure. I mean, but sir, you are the modern day doughboy cupcake man, my my friend. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. You're a nice guy. I'm not saying this to insult you. No, but somebody good. your wife in front of you, and you'd probably let do it. Absolutely not. Once again, I think it's worth pointing out that it looks like Steiny has actually improved and learn from that last experience because i guess you could make the argument that he was scared of sean strickland but i don't think that's the case because he could have he could have still made a huge deal about making cuts about potentially not airing the whole episode and funny enough i don't think requesting cuts or for something to be cut out in this specific episode is that insane because what sean was saying to steiny wasn't really adding to the conversation and was mostly for our pleasure and for entertainment purposes and when it comes to podcasting Sean is a fun guest if you can ignore the fact that he interrupts way more than Brendan Schaub. And once again, it does seem like Sunny has been improving, which is good because, sure, the clips and all that get a lot of views, but it was quickly catching up to him and he was becoming that guy and becoming the most disliked out of the whole group. Not only that, but the internet was also starting to dislike him. But it's funny because when Schultz said about his character, there are times where I know that, like, because he'll play the victim a lot. Like, with me, he'll try to, like, he'll try to, like, bully me and they get a reaction because it's funny for a clip and i get it because like i understand the value of that yeah like the big guy getting mad uh but then like i think either way it's been about five days and the episode is completely killing it and i'm sure it helps that now sean has become a superstar over the weekend which brings us to our next and final point that is mostly related to the mma field now this is very interesting because listening to sean strickland explain and talk about his expectations for the for the israel adesanya fight is completely mind-blowing and i think it's a perfect example of it's a good mindset that you should have when approaching these super hard challenges basically prepare for the worst and hope for the best izzy again you guys izzy this is this fight you see all my other fights i don't get hit that's not this fight i'm <clears throat> up this fight i'm gonna be leaving this fight bloody broken nose black eye maybe some broken bones like this isn't the fight where i could go most top 10 guys i could stick i could jab i can move izzy's not the fight it's going to suck. But yeah, that episode was pretty good. And if you like MMA, I think you'll like that episode. There's a little bit of everything here and there. But the most interesting part was obviously Steiny's reaction to him getting completely flamed. And you can let me know in the comments below if you think Steiny has actually changed, matured, and become a better podcaster. Or if he was acting that way just because it, it was Sean Strickland. Yeah, let me know what you think. Um, leave a like. Subscribe to the channel. Once again, we're so close to 100,000 subs. And it really helps out a ton. Um, follow me on IG if you would like to connect. I don't post a lot there, but it's more more uh, personal stuff. So again, we can connect there if you want. Um, dislike if you didn't like the video. But that is all we have for today. See ya.